solving absolute value equation. And I don't have much time. <laughs> okay, so um, first of all, we have to understand what absolute value is, because I don't think everybody's learned this. An absolute value is denoted by two lines, two vertical lines like this with a number in there. So the absolute value of 3 is 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is also 3. An absolute value, if I were going to define, define it, the absolute value is, um, I'll write it here, is the distance away from 0. Okay, that's the definition of absolute value. So think about it. If I was at 3, 1, 2, 3, how far am I away from 0? Three. I'm 3 away from 0. If I'm at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 3, how far am I away from 0? Am I negative 3 away or 3? Three? 3. 3 away, right? So it's a distance. You cannot have a negative distance. Does that make sense? It would be impossible for me to give you a rectangle and say this width is negative 3 and the length is negative 10. It doesn't make sense. How do you have a negative distance? It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. It's a distance that doesn't exist. Right, exactly. You know? So, so when we're talking absolute value, we are talking about a distance in essence, the distance away from zero. So whenever you have your final value inside your absolute value line, if it's positive, it stays positive. But if it's negative, it gets converted into positive. Okay? So sometimes you will see equations using this. And an equation, an example of an equation would be the absolute value of x plus 2 Actually, I wonder if I should do another problem first. Cross that out. I mean, I'm going to do, do something simple at first. Let's say, i just make sure I don't do the same. Okay. So let's say I do this. The absolute value of x is equal to 5. So is that an equation? Yeah. It's an absolute value equation. So, sorry? What? How do you know if it's a negative? So that's interesting. So let's just let's just write out our possibilities. We could have absolute value of five would all, we'd equal five, and our absolute value of negative five would equal five, right? So really, what you're saying is x could either equal this, or x could equal this. Don't you agree with me? Yeah. All right. So so you are going to have two answers. An absolute value equation is solved by solving it twice. And so what you're going to do um, is you're going to say, you're going to rewrite it exactly the, the way it is here without the absolute value sign. It's going to say x, and you're going to say equals 5. Or, and you write the word or, and then you rewrite it again, but this time you change the sign of the 5 equals negative 5. And that's my answer. Now that was a very simple one, right? That was very simple. But it makes sense, right? It's pretty simple and pretty easy. Alright, so what if I gave you, can I erase this? Okay. So what if I gave you something slightly more complicated? Uh, x plus 3, the absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to, I don't know, 7. Now, there's, there's a rule, before you, you know how I split it out, and I, I showed you t the two different ways, you first write it this way, and then I write it this way, with a negative sign in front of its last number, mm -hmm. before you do that, this is a rule, this is a very important rule, the absolute value sign Absolute value sign must, must be 
This is really, 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 really important. Isolated. Okay. Isolated. What is isolated? By right? itself. That doesn't look right. Oh, by itself. Yeah. We know what you mean. Wait, Brett. I don't know how to spell isolated. But anyways, it must be isolated. Doesn't seem right to me. What does it mean to be isolated? Yes, Suman. Like you're alone. All by itself, right? All alone. I cannot have a plus two right here. Everybody look. Everybody look. I can't have a plus two right here. I can't have a five right here. I've got to have just the absolute value sign with whatever's inside it, absolute value sign, followed by an equal sign. It's all alone on this side of the equal sign. There's nothing else, right? Is that clear? As long as you have that, you can do that splitting out. Then it's OK. Then it is OK to split out into two, to split, to split into two, right, into two equations. OK, so let's try it. So do I have this isolated? No. Yes. Yes, there's nothing else on in front of it or after it be before the equal sign. All right, so I'm going to do, the first thing is exactly what I see here without the absolute value line. X plus 3 equals 7. And then I write or. X plus 3 equals what? Negative 7. Negative 7. And then I solve each one. So I have minus 3, minus 3 on both sides. I have X is equal to 4. Now, some people skip this and they say, oh, if x is 4, the other one's negative 4. No. Not necessarily. In fact, rarely. Negative 3, negative 3, or minus 3, minus 3, x is equal to negative 10. You with me? Does that make sense? No. So then oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. then would you write so x is equal to 4 or negative 10? Right. And so this is your answer. x is equal to 4 or x is equal to negative 10. Simple as that. They're really easy. Right? They're really easy. Just in case it's speed up, sorry. Okay. Um, so let's try let's try another one. So write th write this next one down. I've only got I've only got two minutes. Two minutes. So we'll do um, say two x minus five. Uh, equals ten. Hmm? Ah, let's let's make it um, let's make it equals eleven. Mm -hmm. What does it really matter? Like ten. Would be but so, is it isolated? Yes. Yes. All right. So I think all the ones I gave you on this are all isolated, which is great. So you can immediately split them out. But two x minus five is equal to. 11, or 2x minus 5 is equal to negative 11. Pretty easy. Add 5 to both sides. Add 5 to both sides. I've got 2x is equal to 16. And I divide by 2. Divide by 2. x is equal to 8. Add 5 to both sides. Wait, what? Can you write that? Sorry, what? We're writing Wait. this down. We're not that fast writers. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sorry, I'm just I'm in the speed mode because of the time. So I added five to both sides. I've got two x is equal to sixteen. I divided both sides by two, and I got x equals eight. So that's my first one. And now my second one, I'm going to add five to both sides. I've got two x is equal to negative eleven plus five. So is that going to be negative or positive? Positive. Negative. No, wait, what? Negative 11 plus 5 oh, is going to be negative, right? Six. Now, do you remember that rule we said, the, the number with the bigger absolute value? Now we know what absolute value is for everybody. The bigger absolute value is the 11. What's the sign in front of the 11? Negative. negative. Therefore, when I'm adding it, this, the answer's got to be negative. And then now I just subtract. When the signs are different, I take the difference of 11 and 5. I subtract the smaller from the bigger, and I get 6. Yeah. So then I divide by 2. Divide by 2. X is equal to negative 3. 
So I put the word or in there, and I circle it, and I'm done. That's Piece of cake, easy. Right? Piece of cake. Yeah. So tonight you're going to practice that. Tomorrow we're going to make them harder. No. Okay? So, good. So I have the homework here. Did you win I know. That's why you, now I know I left. Now I know I left. We all cross Remember when, when we were like practicing that? Mm -hmm. 